Hi everyone, it's Lehman with Lace Covered Skies and I'm here today with a thrift store haul and this is over a couple of trips. I have I showed you guys the clothing items and the textiles that I've gotten from this thrift store but um, these items were kind of left on the side because um, I put them somewhere else so I forgot about them. So I thought I would show you today. There are lots of odds and ends that are sewing, sewing items. And I think some of these, I don't know if I've already showed you, but let's just dive in. So let's start with these doilies. I found a bunch of doilies that were marked separately, priced separately, but she ended up charging me one lump price for it so that was good i wasn't too crazy about this one even though i could definitely cut it up and everything but i've been loving um and this is not vintage this is made by a machine but i've been loving coffee i mean avocado dyeing so i thought i would just grab these so that i could avocado dye them i thought it would be a great way to experiment especially because they ended up being such a good price. And then I found this one, which I probably will not dye. I'm happy with this color. I found this. I think this will be good as like a background layer. Found this one. I love these collar type doilies. There's a little button right here. I will probably end up dyeing this one. And I really loved this one. Just this really long piece. And then there was this one. I might dye this one. And then this one. All right, so I think I am going to maybe lay something down on the table or maybe not. Okay, so like I said, lots of sewing items. Here are some needles. Some more needles, some vintage buttons, which are always cool, some snap fasteners, originally 15 cents. They only used one. I want to try to do something with these types of fat buttons. Okay, these look like just from clothing. There are some of these snap buttons. These hook eyes and loops, originally 15 cents. These snap fasteners again, more needles. And I love getting bags of these like this when it's in a uh, when it's a reasonable price because it's better than going out and buying buying these things these like things that aren't fun but just necessary. I was excited about this because I just love stocking up on eyelets. And I like the gold color. And here is some Velcro, some more buttons, and let me just show you in this bag. Lots more buttons, not really vintage necessarily. 
Um, but bobbins, another non-fun or unfun item, but necessary. And I hate um, filling my bobbins. So I want to make a bunch of whatever color I'm working on. So I could just not have to stop. <laughs> and that's it for this bag. So these are cute. All right. Now I also found lots of zippers. So it's going to be fun. I love finding large lots of things so that I can just think up a project and make a whole bunch of them. So lots of zippers right here. And then more zippers and this lady prices things a little bit weird like some things are super cheap I think this whole bag was a dollar but then some things are super expensive so it's kind of unpredictable but I got a bunch of these things some rickrack right here, large rickrack. There's some bias tape down here, it looks like. So I love, I love the tiny rickrack. But I mean, for this price, you really can't say no. <laughs> She also had a lot of file folders there, but she was charging a lot for them. They were all used file folders and I would have picked them up, but it was just not worth it. I might try going back and seeing if she'll price it lower. So there's that. This is bias tape. Some lace right here, some seam binding, which is great, some lace right here. I think this is lace seam binding, right? Some bias tape, more seam binding, some more lace, and here it is again, some buttons. So these were really cool. And this one, seam binding, some more seam binding. I like that color. Some Velcro. I love getting things like this. Some of this sequins on like a sheer fabric. Rick rack, rick rack, some more zippers in here. This would be great to avocado dye, especially because there's just a little bit. I think I'm going to throw it into my avocado dye pile. This is cool. Buttonhole spacer and sizer. It's just cool to have, especially because this whole bag was a dollar. This looks like a thicker lace, which I like. Needle threaders. They were originally, this pack was 52 cents. Lots of rickrack here, some baby rickrack. I love that. Some red lace, some pink lace. I guess it's lace seam binding. 
this is I guess it's like braiding or braid there's two packs of that some more seam binding Lots, lots of purple in here. There's this random bracelet. Some more lace. And... What is this? To like... Put on the edge of a blanket or something, maybe? But yeah, so there's that bag. in here. Okay, I'll fix that later. There's this random seam ripper, which is always handy. And then this vintage, like a needle pack which I, they made these so pretty back then. I have a few of these already, not this exact kind, but it's just so cute. All right, and I think this is what I was really excited about because I used to really search out eyelet, eyelet lace or eyelet fabric, anything like that. And then I found a whole bunch, but they weren't super vintage or small. I like, I like it small like this, but I found packs of it. And then I recently thought, since I'm not excited about just the regular um, eyelet, I think it was a little bit bigger than this size, I decided to avocado dye it. And it turned out super pretty. Um, so when I saw all of this, I wanted this bag. <laughs> so this is my favorite when it's super small. And even going to Joanne's, this stuff is like by the yard, so it's kind of expensive. So that's also why I always try to look for it. But this is cute too, because it's a cream color and it's not like the full size. It's a little bit smaller. And then there is this huge length of this, which is just so pretty. I'm just trying to find the, the, the pin. It's just such a pretty color, the green and the pink. And there is so much of it. So I am super excited about this. And then this bigger size, not my favorite, but I was happy to find it. This one which is a little bit different. I like that. I really like the bottom. And then a lot of this. I think this is one bundle. And it is a little bit different from the typical eyelet, I think. But because there's so much, I'm definitely gonna avocado dye some of this. And I am super excited about that. And then there's this, 
which is a little bit smaller than usual, which I love. It's just a little bit like shorter. And this, I think this is super cute. I might avocado dye some of this too. But I was so excited to find so much eyelet lace. And this one, I think it's similar to one we've already seen. This is super cute. I really like the look of this thicker band on the top. And maybe I could use some of the the bias tape to do this to some of the lace. That might be a cool way to use that. And this length right here of really thick, it looks like some of it, something was cut off. But this little piece inside is, oh, this, so this was cut off. And I really like the bottom of this. But definitely going to avocado dye that. Some more of this smaller eyelet lace, which I love. And then this, which is super feminine to me. All right, so I'm super excited about all this eyelet. And one last thing I'm going to show you is something I got for free. Um, it was one of those curb alert type of things. And so I just drove over. Oh, actually, one more thing from the thrift store. I found this pack of vellum. It's like really thick, good quality vellum. I haven't tried printing on it, but I can't wait to try. And it's a pretty thick stack. It looks like the entire, it was a booklet and it looks like the entire booklet is still here. So I thought that was a really good find because vellum is so expensive. But these are the things I got for free. So this is, let's see, they're business cards like a template, but um, since it was free, it would be great if it was a sticker, but since it was free, I thought maybe I could just print on it and like any kind of digital and then just use the little different sections. But what I really came there for were these and there's not many in, the, in here, but it was free, so I'm good with free. <laughs> It's, um, I don't think it's the kind that you can print on really, but I definitely use this just for like, um, like a floating slide mount type thing. So I'm definitely gonna find a good use for this or for, um, it says it does print on copiers, but I think mine is an inkjet, so it might not work. I'm definitely gonna try it. But if nothing else, I can use it for specimen cards, which I make tons of specimen cards. So excited to have this. But um, out of these odds and ends, which were your favorites? I think my favorite is definitely the eyelet. Um, and the vellum, vellum comes in second because I don't use a lot of vellum. I don't really buy a lot of vellum, so I was super excited to find a whole booklet of this. But um, if you like this video, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up down below and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching today, and I will talk to you next time. Bye, everyone.